Hello, this is Entry 8 to the adventure of me learning in Japanese. I've decided to start using my DSLR to record these instead of using my Mac because, well, uh, this is higher quality and it would look better. Let's get right into it. What I first started learning about today was um, kanji, specifically the anatomy of kanji and some of the basic words in kanji, such as letters through 1 through 4. There's two types of kanji reading, unyomi and kunyomi. Unyomi derives from the Chinese pronunciation of the word, and kunyomi derives from the Japanese pronunciation of the word. Um, as a general rule, uh, when kanji appears by itself, it's kunyomi, and when uh, one or more kanji characters are combined to make a word, it is unyomi. Often a single Japanese word is written using both kanji and hiragana, uh, such as big. Hiragana that follows kanji in a single word is called okiragana. It has two rules. Uh, when a word has to be written with kanji in okiragana, you have to read it in kunyomi. There is one major exception with the verb type. The verb do plus a noun of Chinese origin, unyomi, is assigned. There are four major categories of kanji. There is shuki moji, pictorial characters, shiji moji, indicative characters, kai moji, compound ideographic characters, and kisi moji, which is phonetic ideographic characters. Shuki moji are pictorial characters that originated from pictures of objects, such as uh, mountains, rivers, or fire. Shiji moji, indicative characters, are points and lines to express abstract concepts. Kai moji, which is the compound ideographic characters, are formed by combining shuki moji and shiji moji. The meaning of kai moji is a result of its component characters, such as uh, sun and moon being close together, bright. Kisi moji is also a combination of two or more characters. One component represents meaning and the other component represents pronunciation. Such as with the words sea or ocean, lake and swim, they all share the same left side components. And then I moved on to learning basic uh, kanji words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, big, small, person, moon, fire, water, tree, gold, soil slash earth, or day and sun. <sighs> That's what I learned with kanji. My initial reaction towards kanji is that it's a major pain. But actually, on my wall over there, I'll probably show you. There I have uh, some basic uh, kanji written out for me to remember. I'm just going to start doing that. I downloaded an app for my phone to help me start learning the alphabet of hiragana, katakana, and kanji. So that way I can do it while I'm waiting for class to start and beginning to learn. I'm not even close to learning any of them yet, but I'm working on it. And this concludes my beginnings of writing Japanese. So from here on out, I'm actually going to be learning how to speak it, which includes proper pronunciation and words. And I'm going to butcher the language, but, you know, I want to learn it, so I'll try. So that's it for entry eight. I'm done with writing, so now I'm going to learn how to speak. Yeah.